Hi, I'm Jay from Gung Ho Bikes. Today we're talking about average Joe or Jan that has uh, gotten the bike out of the garage and said, I'm going to ride this year. This is the year I'm going to ride a whole lot. And they're looking at their bike and they're going, oh my gosh, what do I need to do? So the first thing that we would recommend to those people is always pump up the tires. Somewhere along the side, it will say max inflate, and then it'll give you um, a maximum number. This one is 40 PSI. Uh, if it's a road bike, it could go as high as 100 PSI. Want to go back and do the rear tire so that you have both tires inflated to the proper pre pressure. They may well be up to pressure at the, at the beginning, but you're really looking for is if they're going to stay. Generally, if they stay up for a day or so, your tubes are going to be okay. Um, if they don't stay up, then you got a tube issue. So we have a little rust on the chain. So before we start adjusting, uh, and you can see it's just surface rust. Uh, so it's, at this point, it's no need to replace the chain, uh, but we're gonna get some lubrication on there and see if uh, we can keep it working okay. People are lubricating their chain, we like to get a, a cloth behind it to pick up the overspray and then at, and spray a length of the, the length of the chain. Uh, then I'm going to just kind of lightly rub it to make sure it's over the chain. Typically what I'm going to do at this point is then I will let the lubricant sit on there for a little bit. Uh, it's going to work its way into the places that it needs to be. And after you let it sit for a while you go back with your rag and you're a little bit more aggressive in squeezing it uh, and that's going to help uh, take off all the excess lubricant. So we're going to look if your bike has gears uh, which at this point most people's bikes ha have some kind of gears. We're going to take a look and see uh, how they are working. You'll start with the chain the whole way down in the back, the whole way down and you'll do one click. And most people will have index shifters and when I say a click the the actual shifter will make a click. So you do one click and this bike did not, it should move up one gear. If it doesn't move up one gear, all the derailleurs on the back have a, a barrel bolt. Okay, so you're going to turn that barrel bolt until we get it to... It's thinking about it, I can hear it. There we go. And there, and then it jumped up that one, that one gear. And just fiddle around with this, turn it one way, turn it the other way, and it, and it should get quiet. When it's getting quiet, you're, you're doing the right thing. And all the gears, relatively easy and relatively quietly. The most essential uh, piece for safety's sake is ensuring that your brakes are working, are functioning correctly. Um, and that's not generally too hard to determine. If your wheels are spinning correctly, it's not hitting the rim, and then when you pull the brake lever, if the, if the bike stops quickly and efficiently, they're probably adjusted well.